Hi guys, it's Don from farfaraway.org. Um, painting up a unit of spell markers at the moment, so I decided I'd do an extended video on painting them up. Uh, so these guys were sprayed black initially uh, for their undercoat, and then touched up with kind of a watered down black. Um, next up, then I got varying shades of grey, starting with dark shades, and dry brushed them. Uh, and then there was a, a wash of Bada black. So this is to get them into this grayscale where they're almost a, a black and white version of the miniature because the technique I'm going to use to paint them is glazing where I use thin down uh, washes essentially glazes uh, to colorize now the difference here will be that the chest cavity uh, I'm going to try and do a very bright vibrant spell like color um, so I'll, I'll probably paint that kind of a very bright blue and then, then dry brush it up and, and ink it um, but the rest I'm going to work on with lasers. Alright so this is stage one with all three of them now up to to that standard. So I worked on the chest cavities in this stage. Uh, I used two colours really. Um, GW's Enchanted Blue and mix that to a lighter shade with Space Wolves Grey. So you can actually see the, the mixing palette there worked up in you know five or six different stages and uh, progressively dry brushing into the, the chest cavity to get that effect and then it was washed back with a small amount of Azerman Blue I also picked out the eyes as well because I want them to have that glow. So I'll probably work on the, the flesh next. Okay, so I worked on the flesh and I've also done a bit of work on the, the plate armor. So with the flesh, it's Space Wolves Grey mixed 50-50 with glaze medium. So the difference between using glaze medium and water is that water thins the paint out and affects the flow characteristic quite badly. Whereas glaze medium thins it but maintains the flow characteristic. So the pigment tends to be more evenly dispersed. Um, as you then put that over the grayscale effect some of the highlights tend to show through. So, once that had dried, I then kind of a very watered down Azerman Blue onto the flesh, and that gave them an instant bit of shading. And then finally, kind of a, a Skull White and Space Wolves Grey was used just to highlight certain areas. Um, I used that same effect on the on the hair, so the hair now is you know quite grey. On the armor, then that's blue ink, uh, just GW's blue ink, um, mixed with one part water and one part glaze medium. So you can see it there; it's it's still wet. Uh, glaze medium is a retardant, um, so the it slows the drying, and that's something you have to factor in when you're painting miniatures. Is that the drying times will be increased if you use a lot of glaze medium? Uh, you'll thin the paint out. Um, it'll flow nicely, but it'll take a long time to dry. Okay, so some details now to work on on the flesh probably next. I need to work on the protruding bone and then the, the blighted horns that stick out of say the shoulder there and also kind of on other parts of the arms. So I'll work on that next and I'll probably end up doing some of the, the cloth. Okay so some of the detailing around the flesh um, as you can see here, I did a bit of work on the, the bone protruding from the chest and on the horns coming out the blighted flesh and also some of the blood there. So the blood was the easiest part, it's just the ball red wash and just lightly applied into the recesses. Um, the horns are actually quite simple as well, it's uh, graveyard earth watered down, applied over the base uh, and then uh, a wash of Devlin mud 
the bone had the same start and then a small bit of bleach bone out of the graveyard dirt highlighted up quite quickly up to just pure um, bleach bone so I need to work on the, the kind of groin cloth then around the legs the back and then that'll be more or less it some small bits of metallics but not too much This is the completed miniature. I uh, haven't done the base yet. Uh, I'll leave that until I have a couple more miniatures done. I'd like to do basing on mass. So, for the cloth, that's simply a wash of Leviathan Purple, which is one of the foundation washes. Um, as you can see, that's a, a very good example of how this glazing approach works. You know, there's a natural highlight there because of the shades of grey. The legs, which you can see are a little bit shiny, that's because I've used an ink, and inks tend to dry with a slight sheen to them. So this will be matte varnished afterwards, so it won't matter. Um, but that's just the, the brown ink. The buckle is just a tiny bit of uh, bulk of metal. I applied a wash down the spine of just uh, Devlin Mud and then bought that black into the hair. So that's the finalised miniature. I think it's turned out quite well. As I the other two. So looking forward to fielding these guys and seeing how much ranged spell slinging pain I can inflict on my opponents.